Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super beyond excited about this video. You read on the description, this is my review on the Sonia Keshek 15 year anniversary brush set. And like I said, I'm super excited to do this review and stay tuned to the end for a surprise. Just saying. <laughs> okay, so excuse that some of the brushes are dirty because I used them today, only like three. Yeah, three. I try not to use all of them, but it's kind of hard they're tempting and they just are sitting there and they look so pretty um okay so when you first get this brush set it looks like this and again this is the sonia kashuk 15 year anniversary brush set and they are purple um they have the purple handle with the gold tips and the gold ferrules and then the purple hairs <laughs> okay and i've had these brushes for about a month or so so i feel like i can do actually good review on these brushes i have washed them like three times so i know if there's fallout if there's shedding if there's color dye coming out if anything so that's what i'm gonna tell you today and if it's worth purchasing or not because it is 39.90 so to me 40 dollars for 15 brushes isn't bad at all it comes out to like two dollars and sixty something cents per brush and if you really look at it that is not expensive at all when i have brushes that are like 20 bucks for just one so you get 15 for a lot of them it's even better and then i got this actually for 30 dollars because i had a when you pick up at the target store um i got ten dollars off so it came out to thirty dollars it comes with 15 brushes as i said it comes with this one which is a powder brush and you can use this to apply your basically your powder you know your setting powder your finishing powder i typically don't like brushes like these i like more like brushes like these to really pack on the color like this and this I'll basically use like to dust off the excess but I still like it none the nut uh, I still like it nonetheless and I could just use it to put color in, powder in like that or like to dust off excess so I still use this powder and they are soft and it's a really really nice brush and they look so like luxurious and they say Sony Keshek on them and I also really wanted these brushes because the first brush set I ever got was from Sonia Keshek. And let me actually show you. I only have a few brushes of that set left. It only came with eight. But it was like this. They're like the gold on gold. And they say Sonia Keshek. It's like fading. This brush is so old because it's one of my first brush set. And my grandma bought it for me. And like I was so excited so i really wanted the 15 year anniversary i even like wrote sonia keshek like when can i get them yeah that was crazy like that don't judge me it's getting a little dark okay so the next brush is and they say all the brushes in the back as well if you want to know where i'm reading off, off from but you don't have to use the brushes like how they say but this one is the blusher brush so you could put, use this to apply um blush and i really use that for that too or you could put it for contouring or blending out the excess so i really really enjoy this brush for the blush the next oops i have a hair the next brush is the dual fiber buff buffing brush so this one i use for foundation and the first time that I used this, um, I wa I washed these brushes the first time I got them before I used them, okay? And there was no purple dye came out. Um, I didn't have any shedding at all for any of the brushes. So I was like, damn, these are really good brushes. But the first time that I used this brush, because I was like, hmm, what should I use this brush for? I was like, you know what, I'm just going to use it for foundation so i was going and i was putting out foundation and there was bristles like fallout bristles all over my face and i was like are you freaking kidding me right now like all over my face which was so weird because there was no fallout like you know what i mean that there was no loose there was nothing when i washed them 
but when all of a sudden I was putting my foundation on yeah so then in the end I just got this brush and like dusted off the loose hairs from the brush so I was really really upset over this brush but then um I washed it again I didn't use it and then I washed it again and I decided to use it and then the next time that I used it I didn't think like that happened to me so maybe you just have to work into the brush or something but after that I didn't get no loose hairs on this brush and it works pretty good on applying your foundation it's like really in there really small and compact so I feel like it gives you like a good coverage so at first I didn't like this brush but now I kind of like it so another brush that I use for foundation is this one this is a synthetic angled multi-purpose brush and I use this one for foundation as well and I just put on the color you know you can use this for bronzer you can use this for blush highlight however you want to use this but I use this for foundation myself the only thing about this brush is that with some foundations I find that it leaves like streaks I honestly don't mind that at all because I always go over it with a beauty blender or a beauty sponge over my just to make sure I get that airbrush glow so I really 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 like this brush it gets really into there and then wherever I need coverage so I really enjoy this brush it's like one of my favorites one of my favorites but my favorite 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 brush and the reason why I wanted this whole brush set anyways is for this brush and this one is called the contour brush and I wanted this brush because it reminds me of the NARS Eda brush which is a brush that I really 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 want but it's hell of expensive it's like $56 sorry about the car for a one brush so it's like you could get this whole set for less than that, that one so brush. I was just like might as well just get the whole set and get one brush that looks similar I like it who knows if it works similar because I don't have it but something close that looks like it it might work and I really 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 love this brush for contouring it really gives you a good contour the only thing is that you have to have a light hand or barely dip the product in there because it will leave you like it will leave you that line but you could go ahead and blend it out or get another brush and blend out the contour however like i'm still um i feel like i'm still learning how to use this brush you know but that's how i've been using it so far just put it right here and then blend it out and if it's too harsh still i blend it out with another brush and then i contour in the side my lower jawline and i really like i said i really like this brush it's really really good for contour and i feel like the whole set's worth it just for this brush but that's just me the next one is a brush that i haven't used i've washed all three times because i usually wash all my brushes together because you know they could collect dust and stuff anyways so i have not used these this brush i don't like these brushes i tend to use these when i do face masks you know like the green ones like clay masks and stuff like that this is what i usually typically use these type of brushes for even though i haven't used it yet for with this brush because i forget i have it sometimes but yeah it looks like it feels soft i guess that's all i could say about this brush but yeah it feels soft the next brush is um the concealer the concealer brush so this is basically a mini version of this but this one you can use um to put concealer under the eyes under your eyebrow you know to get that arch you can use this for another things packing on color like glitters and stuff spraying it with flicks plus or like putting on a base or even lipstick if you want even though it's a little bit of a bigger brush you could use this for a lot of different things or pop spot concealing i really like this brush and I have used it to put um, concealer under the eyes and then blending it out with the beauty blender and then also under my eyebrows and I really enjoy it for that the next brush is the blending brush and I feel like everybody everybody in their mama needs a blending brush because you don't like harsh lines in your makeup right so it's kind of like a brush like this but bigger and it's really nice it really and it's soft and you just really really just blend out your crease color like that and that's all i've used it for and it does a great job and just 
blending out your eyeshadow if you feel like you put too much just blend that just blend it and it'll look nice it doesn't feel as soft like it doesn't feel as like these but it does the job and i like it for that you can never have a lot of blending brushes in my opinion the next one is the crease brush so you go ahead and put on color and put it right here in the crease and they'll give you that like precise line if you want you could even blend it if you turn it sideways like this and it's a really nice brush i also have used this to pack on color in the lid or an all over color i really enjoy it for that or you could also use this to contour your nose and stuff like that i don't contour my nose but that's another use you could do for it the next brush is a small eyeshadow brush so this one also i feel like it works with the other brush it's just more it's like a circle shape and it's also like for the crease to pack on color and blend it at the same time together to really put the color where you want it in the crease and then just blend it out and then you could also blend it out with the blending brush that i showed you there the next brush is the fluffy eyeshadow brush and i love brushes like this it's i use them every day which is like my coastal sense one which is white but i use these every day because every time that i put my makeup i put my my base or my primer and then i get the lightest shade in the palette and put it all over my lid like a starting color and i really really like it to do that and i just put it all over my lid and that's usually what i use these brushes for we're getting to the end okay the next per the next brush is the precision smudge brush and this is like a really really fine pointed tip brush and i typically use these for putting color in the lower lash line and you could also use it to get like a really like almost a line in the crease if you want that really like dramatic crease look you can use this for that but i i use it for the lower lash line that's basically all i use it for the next brush is an angled brush and i use this for either eyeliner on the lid and for my eyebrows i feel like it does a really good job it's like more stiffer than all the other angled brushes that i have but i feel like you gotta work with it because it's not as stiff as i was when i first got it but you could just it does a really good job to make like your eyebrows so this one says it's a smudge brush i don't use it for that i use it for my lips <laughs> so i'm saying you can use that to smudge also in the lower lash line to put eyeliner to like smoke it up in the top but i use it for my lips and then the last brush is the spoolie and i actually angle it because i feel like it works better for me like that like i like have this one too this is by mac but it's like a fake mac brush and it's like to clean out your eyebrows and i feel like it works better for me that way if you angle it but it comes straight but you can move it so i use it like that and typically i just use this for my house and there you go that's the whole set now is it worth it yes i think it's totally worth it hands down for the basically that contour brush i really enjoy that one the spoolie i love it and especially because it's purple and that's a plus because these brushes are um purple they are like feel like they look luxurious they're not as soft as a lot of brushes that i own but they're not they're not to me they don't remind me of cheap brushes at all um they do the job and i feel like that's the most important I feel like they are there is better brushes out there better quality than these but if you're like a beginner or you just want a set of brushes like you don't have brushes you have like three or four and you want a set and stuff i feel like this is a perfect like brush it to start out in makeup like you have everything you need for your face basically and more like you could get really into there like with techniques and stuff so i feel like sony keshik did a wonderful job in these brushes like they're awesome and i just i'm like feel so happy that i have them and also i got another brush set and this one is to give away they're brand new they're not touched they haven't been opened and i wanted to do a giveaway to give a brush set to you 
um we could be twinsies <laughs> i'm just kidding so i'm excited to give one of these away um because i've been on youtube for a year now uh, my channel hasn't been growing i haven't been as active but i really want to start putting more videos out there and just to thank you guys the ones i don't i know i don't have a lot of subscribers but just to thank you guys for you know subscribing for my channel and watching my videos commenting every now and then liking my videos like it really means a lot and i want to give back so you guys can get your own sony keshek brush set um, what you gotta do is just um, like this video and subscribe to my channel and just leave me a comment of what you would like to see in this video I mean in this video in future videos whether it's like more follicles, how to do your eyebrows look because I feel like I'm gonna do one of those anyways because my older videos are really 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 bad quality sorry I used my laptop camera I just wanted to make this video to thank you guys 